Hello and welcome to RHEL Acoustics How-To Video Series. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to connect your RHEL high-level cable to Class D amplifiers and receivers. Before we begin connecting wires to your amplifier or receiver, turn it off to avoid the risk of accidentally shorting it and damaging your unit. With your amplifier off, first connect the red wire to the amplifier's right positive speaker output terminal. Then, attach the yellow wire to the amplifier's left positive speaker output terminal. Next, do not connect the black wire. It should be floating or hanging down without connection to any terminal. Use a small piece of electrical tape to cover the exposed strands on the black wire to avoid accidentally shorting out the connection. You're done on this end of the cable. Check the connections to make sure there are no bare wires shorting between the output terminals. If everything looks clear, you can now turn your amp back on. The final step is to plug the speak on connector at the other end of the cable into the RHEL subwoofer's high level input. If hum occurs using this method, there's a grounding problem. Try grounding the black wire to a chassis ground if your amp has one. The other option to stop the humming is to remove the black wire, letting it float, and connect an RCA cable between an unused RCA output on the preamp or amplifier and the RHEL's LFE input. If done correctly, the RHEL will be getting a ground signal from the RCA caller. For two-channel systems, make sure the volume on the LFE input is turned all the way down. For theater systems, use the LFE volume as desired. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe for more RHEL Acoustics videos. Thank you.